and Miss Chalice. And today we are going to learn about drawing animals using what? Shapes. And lines. Um, so, Charlie, can you give everybody an example of a shape? Triangle. Very good. And what else? And one more. Square. Perfect. Um, and we will also be learning about lines. And a line can be a straight line, a zigzag line, loop-de-loop -loop line, um, a wavy line. What kind of lines can you guys think of? Can you think of a line, Charlie? Straight. A straight line. Very good. So, for today, I'm going to show you some examples um, of how to draw a dog. See mouse. And a lion. This video, we are going to draw a lion using only lines and shapes. So we're going to draw something like this. All right, let's go ahead, Charlie. What shape? Is our lion's head? Circle. A circle. So draw your circle, and if your circle looks more like an oval, that's okay too. Fantastic. So now our lion needs some ears. What shape can we use for the lion's ears? Circle. We're gonna draw two little circles on the sides. Well, those are great. So. The next step is to draw the lion's mane. So it's going to be a boy lion. And to draw the lion's mane, we're going to use a bumpy line. You can do a zigzag line. Um, you can just do little lines coming out. But in this, in our drawing, we're going to do a bumpy line, which looks like this. It's like a whole bunch of M's or W's all around that lion head. Good job, buddy. Good job. So then next, what else does our lion need? Eyes. Needs eyes. Let's give our lion some little eyes. Just doing little circles. Oh, does yours have eyelashes? Yeah. That is so cute. So what else does our lion need? A smile. A little smile. And our lions need the upside down triangle nose. And I'm going to make mine a little shiny too. Good job. Yours can be that way too. I love it. Good job. So if you want, you can kind of connect it up to kind of be like a big snout or you can just leave the triangle as it is. Good job. So next we need our lion's body and what shape should we use for the lion's body? Oval. Sure we'll do some oval body and we need some legs so we can just do little kind of rectangles And then we'll do the back legs, which this is going to be kind of a weird type of line. It's almost like an oval and then another oval coming out. It's kind of how it is. Or you can just do it like that. Mm -hmm. I really don't know how to do that. Want to trace those? Good job. Okay, and the last thing we need for our lions is what? The, the tail. The tail. So you can have your tail coming out from either side. And you're just going to draw a line and then another line right next to it. Good 
and then kind of like a teardrop, which is like an oval that has one pointy end. So start here, Charlie, and kind of round it up and come back up. And get it out. Start here, come down, and go back up. Perfect. Good job. Oh, I love that. Now, should we have our lion's tails wagging? Do lions wag their tails? Maybe he'll be swatting some flies away with that tail. He's wagging it really good. No, he's really wagging his tail. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, Charlie and I are gonna go ahead and color. Um, you can use markers, crayons, colored pencils, Mom, whatever you I have at home. I just wanna leave them like this, okay?